with art. With art, I uh, I just doodling, doodling in class. I couldn't uh, when I would get bored with the, what the teacher was teaching, I'd just be drawing the whole time, and uh, that's basically how I got into it. It was always graffiti. I I had no idea what graffiti was. I just started doodling, making names, and then I got involved with uh, hip hop. Uh, music and became obsessed with it and realized the whole essence of graffiti art and uh, it just became an obsession. Treat people like you want to be treated. You better take my advice, you're gonna need it. Disrespect somebody and find out they need it. They might fuck you up. I originally started as a mural painter, uh, did various murals for charities and uh, uh, restaurants. I figured if I'd approach a business about, hey, uh, I see a wall, I was like, Dude, would you like a mural? Uh, that's when I started getting, that's when I started accumulating paint and then I could go out and do my own stuff. I, I could go and paint canvases. Working with uh, St. Leonard Society, which is uh, which is an organization that works with uh, like alternative uh, measures for the criminal justice system. I've been working uh, particularly with their their youth, uh, teaching them uh, different art classes. And you need art around you. You need to, to vibe off of other stuff. You have to be inspired all the time, and that's. Uh, that's exactly why we're here today. I mean, it's it's all bringing people together of all different sort of walks of life and coming together because we're all passionate about art. And we're all passionate about music, and that's that's truly what matters. Our fusion started with a bunch of friends of ours who were uh, who are graffiti artists, and uh, when we first started having the shows, we had other friends that were different types of artists, and we brought them together. Uh, this is what it's uh, grown to be. Uh, we started with uh, originally seven artists and uh, we've grown to 70. Art is my passion, having a great time and uh, bringing awareness to, to art. Basically the whole idea is to uh, bring all art forms together and uh, have a celebration of uh, music and art. Ryan and me have been friends for years. We both went to HPBL secondary school so he uh, approached me and told me that he had this to do and he needed kind of a warped out city of London, kind of done on a big mural, so I designed it and uh, the first few days was just putting up the, the line work for it and I put up all the line work and then had about eight or nine artists help me fill it up and that was, uh, that was most of my role. Um, I had to do up a quick sketch to give to the city so we could get approval for the funding. People love the show, like they love how like organized it is and how many different people are involved and and people they tell me they love my art, that makes me feel good. So I keep doing more of it and other people get seen by like other artists get seen by all the the crowds that come through and it inspires them to just keep making art and just keeps the flame burning. For like Ryan to get a grant and be able to pull this off for a festival, weekend festivals for yeah. something that started in, you know, he started it in Iltenor and now it's a festival and a back parking lot for a whole weekend event, it's pretty cool. The city really doesn't have anything like Art Fusion. They have uh, plenty of galleries and plenty of things like that, but nothing that really has this kind of urban influence and uh, incorporates graffiti and, and really doesn't discriminate against any sort of art style. He told, he asked us if we wanted to come play the first art fusion that we could attend. And that was no problem. It was, you know, it was cool for us to go. And then he ended up really liking our sound and telling us that he'd love us to come to all the art fusions. So we've got no problem at all doing that for him. Really tough to get your art in any sort of gallery and in London especially and so Ryan's actually making that happen for people who really want to have a chance. I had a lot of friends that are artists and they always had canvases just stockpiled you know they never had any place to to show their art uh, so that's when I started getting into organizing the shows because I mean they just have them sitting in corners and in the basements and never being on display I mean what it what it costs to rent a gallery is like I mean, no artists can afford it. Uh, they do art because they, they love to do art, but they just, they're artists, so they, that's all they do. 
they don't know how to like get their get their art out to the unknown where i want to take it i mean i only want to get bigger there is no limit mm -hmm.